right, y'all. So this is my last video of the day. Um, we're talking about a video that I just seen or watched on YouTube. Uh, it was an interview with Derrick James. Derrick James is a coach of Errol Spitz uh, Jr. And he was just being asked questions, uh, particularly about Sean Porter and uh, Sean Porter's father, his training methods and things like that. Do you think he's a dirty fighter? Do you think he's a, a good boxer? And, you know, basically to sum it up uh, in my own words, uh, Derrick James basically said that uh, Sean Porter isn't that skill he's he's great he's you know he's greatly conditioned and things like that but when it comes to skill wise and how to fight um everybody basically knows the way he fights isn't you know anything that most fighters respect what do you guys think about that do you think sean porter is intentionally dirty do you really think he's not that skilled more so he um uses little tricks that other boxers want to use in order to get the w or maybe um to get better positioning get the angle things like that get off his combinations he also said another thing about his father, right? So Sean Porter gets a lot of flack when it comes to his relationship with his father and how they tend to go. A lot of people seem to think that Sean Porter's father, Kenny Porter, he's overbearing when it comes to Sean. They think, you know, just from a lot of the comments I read, just from the boss community, it seems like they think he controls Sean Porter a little bit too much, doesn't allow him to do what he, uh, he doesn't teach him the proper things, proper mechanics, uh, proper fundamentals, and ultimately that's going to be a downfall. Uh, but that's similar to a lot of, things people say about Danny Garcia and Angel Garcia's relationship, right? So um, you see that a lot when it comes to, like, father-son, you know, trainer-fighter relationships. A lot of criticism toward the father. You also see that a lot of times, too, when um, it's kind of like, you know, you know, it's a close relationship between the two, the trainer and the fighter. There seems to be a lot of criticism, especially when it's father and son. But do you think that uh, Kenny Porter, you know, he's kind of, he, he necessarily hasn't trained him or, properly prepared him for success um you think ultimately his downfall is going to be his father like Derek james in the interview himself said that um let me let me get it right because i don't see no more. oh your dad treats you like trash right um basically saying he doesn't like the things he sees when it comes to how he teaches sean to fight because ultimately that's going to lead to him not having a long career not being able to um you know, be a champion for a long period of time because he feels like the way he teaches him to fight, uh, you know, it causes him to get hit too much. He has no defense. He doesn't know how to block punches, basically what he was saying. So do y'all do, do agree with that? Um, or do you think, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's like a it's a generalization when it comes to, you know, what the dad-son um, combo in boxing, trainer, fighter type thing. A lot of people tend to, you know, I have a lot of negative criticism toward those relationships. But what do y'all think about that? Let me know. Black Blues TV all day. Derek Jim, uh, excuse me, is Derek James right? Um, Sean Porter's dad, he treats, uh, Kenny Porter treats Sean like trash. Um, he hasn't taught him the fundamentals. And ultimately, he's going to be a downfall. Or do you think, you know, this is just, you know, pre-fight trash talk. Um, have to build up a little animosity. Have to build up a little news. And ultimately, he's wrong. And you got to respect what Kenny's been, and, and Sean's been able to do to basically come from nothing. And uh, to be able to build and, and, and be world champions now from just what they, them two themselves, have been able to uh, accomplish. So let me know. Glad to see you.